There are all kinds of ways that you can communicate with the public about science, and you know, I've written books about science and given lectures and so forth, and those are very effective and uh, uh, very um, rewarding things to do. Uh, but there's something very immediate about playing music and, uh, and singing. And if you can actually get the audience to uh, appreciate the words of, of what we're singing about, I think it's an opportunity to provide an additional way of communicating information about the brain. Um, the songs that I've been writing are primarily about how the brain works and especially how it works in emotions like fear. I think it was probably in the Roman times that the amygdala was identified as a, an almond-shaped structure in the brain. Uh, almond, uh, amygdala is Greek for almond. The amygdala is especially involved in fear and in detecting danger, responding to danger, uh, but it probably has some role in other emotions as well. And one of our songs is called All in the Nut, and it's all about the role of the amygdala in fear. So it asks the question, why do we feel so afraid? And the answer is, it's all in the nut in your brain. Why, why, why do we feel so afraid? Why, why, why do we feel so afraid? The band is composed of Tyler Volk, a professor in biology, Daniela Schiller, um, a postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Psychology and also in the Center for Neuroscience, and Nina Galbraith Curley, who is Daniela's research assistant. Uh, she was a, an undergraduate at NYU and she's been applying to graduate schools and um, so hopefully she'll stay at NYU for graduate school, but I think she has lots of other offers as well. I'm sort of a mediocre guitar player that uh, I'm fortunate to play with these really good musicians. We always joked about um, forming a band and our ambition was to make it to Bleecker Street, play in one of the clubs there and um, who knows, maybe that'll happen now that we actually do have a band. Whether you're an artist or a scientist, there's a certain amount of uh, creative energy that goes into the process and um, for example, as a scientist, uh, I write uh, books and I've, I've used that as a kind of creative energy source because uh, I've tried to not simply present the science in a, a drab, dull way, but to make it interesting for lay readers. Tyler's done, done the same thing with his work. He's uh, written some very interesting uh, books on the environment and on um, other aspects of biology that relate to uh, uh, his work on meta patterns and so forth. And so there's a, a kind of creativity that goes into that process, and it's just a matter of channeling it into either your research or your, uh, your writing, your music if you're a musician, or whatever else you're doing. It's all kind of you know, one brain, one mind, and it's using the same resources, and it's just a matter of pulling a little bit from this part of the brain or that part of the brain and applying it to the different uh, things and different activities that you're engaged in.